Hey, good afternoon everybody. John from Volkswagen Planet and since it's too hot outside I decided to do an inside video on a couple repair manuals that I think everybody should have in their toolbox whether you're a beginner just starting out or even the experienced uh, technician to uh, get all your information or even if you question yourself on a repair I think this is the way to go and even pass on the information to uh, those just starting out in a hobby. What I did today is I brought out a couple of service manuals and these are from um, the company called Bentley which for the for you guys who have been involved with a hobby for a long time you guys know about these but I just wanted to show the newcomers coming up that Bentley does do um, several of these uh, repair manuals. This one here is for the Beetle and the Carmen Ghia from 1966 through 1969 and you got the orange one from 1970 through 1979 and these really are the Bible of the industry and the reason why I want to show you this to you guys today is this really answers all your questions that maybe you know the guys in YouTube and uh, stuff like that really can't answer or they don't think about answering and when you got to know a question or an answer to a question, this could really help you out in a bind or even for your safety, that matter, as far as like torque specs <clears throat> and the proper way of doing stuff and the safety matters, which some of us take for granted because we've done these jobs several times over and over and over again. But I want to show you what this this manual actually covers. And uh, let's go to the front page here. Again, the same thing. Beetle, Super Beetle, Carmen Ghia, and then the years that I discussed earlier. And what I think this is, this is really a thorough um, repair manual. You got the first section, which is engine, fuel, transmission, body, brakes, front, front axle, electrical system, uh, strut fronts, and this one here is uh, my personal favorite, the auto stick. And uh, that's because I personally own one. And but this is a really a uh, thorough repair manual on the auto stick, which there's very limited information out there, as uh, you guys may know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip to uh, was number five, brakes and wheels. I've already got it marked here, and I want to go over a couple things that this uh, repair manual has. And you guys can uh, pick one of these up. They're about 50, 50 to hundred dollars for the hard book that I've got here, and um, you can get them in the paperback for you know as little as twenty bucks. But like I said, I just want to give you guys a couple of information about what these uh, repair manuals actually have and what they've actually, um, how thorough they actually are. As you can tell, it breaks it down to all the uh, things covered. And what I like about this repair manual the most is it's not like um, it, sh it shows you how to tear something down but it just doesn't say uh, do the opposite to um, put it back together so those guys you know, like me who get basket cases who um, you know buy our car in a lot of a um, lot of pieces this really helps me out and answers all the questions that you know some guys just overlook when they're doing the videos and this one right here I think is really important is for safety reasons and everything else and I'll show you guys when I get to that part in the uh, the section the uh, the torque specs and uh, I think that's very important especially on something like brakes and wheels and stuff like that but every section has this and it gives you the break the basic breakdown of what is going on what's going to happen in this um, section and I'm just going to go through one section here so you guys get a general idea basically you said it's talking about you know so you guys got pictures of what's actually going on. Brake fluid reservoir, and it tells you, you know, descriptions on literally how to tear everything down, the proper maintenance, what to look for. And uh, the good thing about these, about these uh, repair manuals also is that, let's say you get in the middle of a brake a, uh, a break job, and it says, uh, you know, this is a picture of a master cylinder, or even this. Let me scan a little bit. This is a, a, a master cylinder that, that's actually an exploded ver um, image, and it tells you every little thing 
that you know is in there so in case you guys wanted to rebuild it you know so you guys have an, a general idea it breaks it down to all the numbers and these are all the corresponding numbers on how to put it to, back together but what I was saying is okay so let's say you go over here to repairing a master cylinder and it tells you okay let's go well this one here is 4.6 but let's just say uh, you're in you know section back here you know not under strut suspension but let's say that strut that the brake is involved with the strut it might say hey go back and refer to picture you know uh, 4.5 and this gives you a lot of uh, hands-on step-by-step pictures so you know what's going on and uh, to complete the job safely and um, with most of all confidence and like so this just breaks this just goes into smaller things you know like um, the brake switches and as like I said it talks about you know the brake lines and hoses um, understanding you know on some models it, it actually breaks it down to all different models you know ones that have disc brakes and it shows you the different uh, years so in case you don't know what you have you know you might have some hodgepodge system like a super beetle brake system on a regular standard beetle that someone's converted you know, there's really no, no way to tell them what someone did 10, 20 years ago, and only they know what they put on there. So I'm just going to scan through this, this uh, chapter and let you guys uh, see what's actually going on, how to compress the, the pistons. It's just a really thorough um, book and repair manual to have. I highly recommend it to everybody, like I said that in the past. And like I said, I'm just going to show you this one chapter. It has everything, wiring harness, wiring harness diagrams from the factory. Um, like I said, it talks about everything. For you guys who want to rebuild your um, your master cylinders, your your uh, brake calipers, and it shows you, like I said, the, uh, how the brake pads go on, all the um, hardware, the retaining clips, the seals, and how it goes on to the spindles. And like I said, it tells you how to, re if you've got a piston that's out, you know how to re -push, how to push them back without damaging the stuff without damaging the uh, the actual caliper. And it tells you it, it just it's unlimited uh, resource to have. Like I said, so this one here talks about the drum brakes. Well, we all have drum brakes in our cars originally. So again, so those who don't know, it tells you wheel cylinder. You know the brake, the uh, springs, the adjustment screws, the backing plates. So those of us who are just starting out, you know, don't be intimidated. This book tells you all and it can answer all your questions. YouTube is great. And uh, but like I said, this might actually go on to, you know, you might learn something that people take for granted making videos. Not saying that, that there's nothing wrong with people who make videos. But like I said, this just tells you, you know, something that they might forget or they've done it so many times. Like I said, they take it for granted. Here's a uh, picture of a wheel cylinder. Again, break it down, the boots, the pistons, the springs, dust caps. You know, drum specifications for, the, for you guys who want to mic out the drums, make sure everything's safe. Like I said, yeah, I mean, this, whatever you need to know, if this book can't answer it, then, you know, you really, like I said, you, it, it's just... It's unlimited source of information. It tells you how to adjust the parking brakes. Like I said, I mean, there is nothing that this book, if, if this book doesn't have it, then you don't really need to borrow it. This one's here, really, in most of the uh, category, or most of the topics, they do have a, uh, a page like this, and I'm glad I found this. You know, if, you got, if you're experiencing a certain problem, you know, find your problem, what the, the, uh, probable cause and the actual remedy on how to fix it and it tells you what section to refer back to so you can replace the parts or do the repair. I know this video is getting long guys but like I said I just wanted to show you this. It's a nice hot day. I'm trying to make a video every single day and I just wanted to uh, let you guys see this very important piece of information and uh, like I said I'm just going to flip through this real quick. shows you how what to uh, when you're looking at tires, what could be the uh, cause of it, you know, like uh, under inflation and stuff like that. So, 
Uh, basically summarize this up, guys. I'm gonna let you guys go. But here's the all the torque specs, you know that I, that I was talking about. And um, so I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like it, thumbs up. For those who are just watching for the first time, this is going to be an ongoing series about the Volkswagen Beetle and uh, maintenance. I'm just trying to give you guys stuff that you don't see on the normal the normal videos on the normal stuff that guys are doing repairs and uh, this is something like unique and um, out of the way so I say guys give me a thumbs up thumbs down if you guys give a thumbs down tell me why you guys don't like it or what's going on because anybody can give you a thumbs down for anything so as always guys thank you for watching God bless you your family and uh, to the next video and uh, we'll see you later you guys have a good day